Oregon State at Oregon, a Friday 8.30 Eastern time kickoff on Fox. There's um, the November theory is in play here, I think. So remember, uh, remember a couple of weeks ago, Utah went and played Washington. Back and forth affair, and Utah loses a close game, 35 to 28. Remember what happened last week? Utah just goes and gets blown out by Arizona. That is a classic example of having 10 weeks worth of gas in a 12-week tank. And I think it may be in the cards in this game. Because Oregon State just played Washington really close, but they lost. So you fully expend yourself. Now you got to get yourself right back up. You got to go on the road on short rest, and you got to play one of the best teams in the country. I don't feel good if I'm over Oregon State right now. I don't feel good. Oregon State's defense does not profile well in this game at all. In fact, I don't like a lot of the matchups for them. Oregon's got the number two pass offense in the country. Oregon State is in the 60s against the pass. And I watched Travis Hunter have success individually against this secondary. I just watched Odunze do it last week in the freezing cold rain. I think Troy Franklin's going to have a lot of success Saturday. The bad news part two in this game for the Beavers is your best bet is running the ball, and Oregon looks and says, okay, go for it. Um, they're, they're the 23rd best rushing offense in the country, or, or the Oregon State Beavers, but Oregon's defense borders on top 10 nationally. So the, their run defense matches up very well with your strength, and, and you probably can't throw the ball enough to expose them. So that's bad news part two. Bad news part three is Oregon State has really bad home road splits. And Oregon is fully motivated. There's 0% chance they overlook this game. They got brand new t-shirts up there. FIBU, you can put that acronym together. I am negotiating a trade with the Oregon Athletic Department as we speak. Our new Pate State America's Team t-shirt goes to them as soon as we get landing size. And then they send us a FIBU shirt. We'll see. Negotiations are ongoing. So let's take a look at what the model thinks. FanDuel has this as Oregon minus 13 and a half. It's very similar to the Iron Bowl. We don't think the number's big enough. We have taken the rivalry aspect into account. We think Oregon minus 16. And frankly, I don't think it's going to be that close. So we're going we're gonna to lay the points. We're going Oregon to win. We're going Oregon to cover. And uh, that will send them to the Pac-12 championship game with everything to play for. <laughs> 